PA transistors. You know what? This one's going to be so easy. This build is just kind of falling together, guys. Um, we're going to do PA transistors, and I'm going to show you a trick that I used on the QCX Mini that I think will apply just fine here. At this point, I am going to dump this out very carefully. Uh, if I was smart, I'd be having a little container to put this in, but I don't have one handy. Oh, you know what I do have, though? I've got the lid to some broccoli cheddar soup. <laughs> I should have dumped it out onto this. All right, so the BS-170s are dead simple. Um, yeah, they are. So we'll take a BS-170 and put it in. Just line those up and kind of stretch them as they go. Bam. So we'll do all four of these. And insert stretch. Insert, stretch it out, and in. Same with the others. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to stay in the middle here. Let me do this for you, make it easier. Well, easier for you <laughs> to see. So I put it in stretch it out just a little bit and stretch it out and mind you the flat faces go inward that is the key here okay flat face goes inward there we go now fold these down And we'll grab this bolt, pop that in here, and this washer, and the nut. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a screwdriver here. And there's no torque specification here, so don't don't wail on it too hard. Just get it snug. All we're doing is really holding these in place. I don't like the placement of that one, so I'm gonna loosen it up a bit. Sorry, I'm pushing these inward a little bit. So they're all under it. Snug it. And solder it. Yep. That easy. So we've got uh, these six here on each side. And it does work better if I do my, my count to two rule. <laughs> oh, darn it. There we go. Just anchor it by my, with my finger. One, two. Solder glue. <laughs> One, two. And now clip the leads. Let me just hit a few of these at once, I think. Okay. 
careful not to involve any SMDs when we clip. And guys, that's it. That was that easy. So that that is everything until the the T, the Q uh, TCXO module.